So Newcastle United yet again failed to win a home game after another another chaotic game. They drew two two with Bournemouth here at St James's Park. Um, Matt Ritchie very late very late equaliser for Newcastle, rescuing a point on the day, which was again the word chaos. It's reigned supreme recently, and it's another chaotic game, one that Eddie Howe will be really frustrated with. I think as first half went. It was goalless at half time, unlike the last couple of games where it's been two two. But yeah, that we goal goalless half time. I think both teams probably felt they probably should have scored. Solanke had a couple of good chances saved by Debravka. Anthony Gordon missed a, a really good chance early on. So I think both teams would be disappointed to have not scored in that first half. But I think you'd you'd probably have said no. You know, a draw at half time was the correct the correct result there. And then the second half chaos ensued. The first goal was. It was. It's a really hard goal to sort of analyse because Dubravka gets played ball back by Sven Botman, as he only would. You know they're often passing out in the back. He slips, unfortunately, as Slanky closes in, and Slanky just taps it home. And that's you know, it's it's a goal. It's a freak goal. You kind of you can't do anything about it. You can't legislate for it. But then again, you've got to take your chances because sometimes that happens. And Newcastle did have a few good chances. Almiron missed um, a good opportunity. Gordon went one on one. With the keeper, I couldn't take around him just moments before that. So then they go one mile behind. All right, it's a free goal, but you think Newcastle really need to sort themselves out. They did, luckily, uh, very soon after with a penalty uh, foul on Fabian Cher. It was a really long VAR check, that one. Uh, for the check for a foul, check for offside, the check for pretty much anything. So that was a really, really long VAR check. I think it was the right decision from the replays we've been able to see. And Anthony Gordon stepped up and tucked it home. And then you think at that point, right, 1 1, they've had the let off. Um, you know, they've rescued, they've rescued a. a from a from a losing position, and then all of a sudden, Newcastle the two one down again. It's Semenyo on the right. It was Dan Byrne again. That's, that question keeps coming up about Dan Byrne, Tino Livermento. How sticks with Byrne? It worked last week. It didn't work this week. Um, it, it, this goal wasn't like the others we've seen. Where it wasn't like Byrne got beat for pace with them, but again, Newcastle just so open at the back and in midfield. Semenyo gets out on the right, and we've seen this goal so many times where the right winger shoots into the far bottom corner. All of a sudden, it's 2 1, and Bournemouth probably deserved it. Fair, Bournemouth are very good today. How many times again have we seen that? Luton were very good last time. Forest a couple of weeks ago were very good. So, Newcastle come up against good opposition, as in terms of opposition that you know aren't scared of them. They're happy to come here and play. And yes, they probably feel they should be teams like Bournemouth and not the Forest and Luton at home. But these teams are giving Newcastle a real good game, and unfortunately, they haven't got any answers at the minute. Eddie Howe, you know, really is very steadfast in this formation, this way of playing. and. Yes, it has worked in recent past. You know, seven seven points from nine available just before this was was you know shown that it worked, but it just didn't work. And then Newcastle relying on the last minute. I say last minute. It was ninety one of a hundred minutes in total. But yeah, it was a goal from Matt Ritchie. Joe White and Ritchie came on together just before the end of um, the normal period. Then you know the, the fourth official scored ten minutes out of time. And to be fair, Joe White was brilliant when he came on. He drove the ball. The ball was eventually crossed over at Richie, whose header first was blocked, but then he was quickest to react to stab home against his old side. Another last minute equaliser against Bournemouth for Richie in his first goal in three and a half years since against Tottenham Hotspur during the uh, the Pine Close towards end of the 2019 20 season, that COVID season. So that's a long time for Richie to, score, to wait for that goal. But at that point, much like he did Luton when Harvey Barnes equalised, I think, right, Newcastle got nine minutes, got a good chunk of time to press on. Another than a Jacob Murphy header that went over, really, it should have been Bournemouth that scored. They had lots of other. Very good chances towards the end of the game, and again, it was you would feel like it's another another points drop for Newcastle. It's a shame because they need to start winning these games, and it just it was a great result last week. But then all of a sudden, they get beat. This uh, sorry, they don't get beat. They drop two points here, and you think, well, that that result doesn't really matter. And then they've got Arsenal next week, so yeah, plenty of things to, for Eddie Howe and his team to dissect. As I said, Arsenal next week is going to be a major, major test. Does he stick with Burn? Does he go Livermento? Is there a change of formation? Because something has to change because. Really, they were they were they've been outran out. Yeah, the, the, it's just something not clicking currently with Newcastle. At the minute they're getting by, getting picking up points recently, but that's going to change very soon. So yeah, another chaotic game, two two. Newcastle tonight will feel this point they didn't get more, but feel lucky that they managed to get a point. So yeah, hard one to assess.